hello guys for today's video i'm gonna show you how to restore this ipod old ipod touch this is a first generation ipod touch also this uh, method will work on second generation for, but first thing first if you have a windows operating system you have to be in windows 7 yes you heard it right windows 7 because this method will not work on windows 10 you're gonna have an error 1611 if you are using a windows 10 so i suggest downgrade your operating system if you you are on windows 10 so and then install the install the uh, itunes version 11.0.1 after installing the itunes 11.0.1 you just have to dfu mold your ipod touch uh, but for today's method for today's tutorial i'm gonna using my macbook pro so uh, the method in windows and in macbook pro is almost the same in windows you are you will just have to use a, a itunes or an older version of itunes because the new version of itunes is not will not be supported by this ipod touch so you have to install the old version okay so let's start if you are uh, restore this uh, ipod touch normally you're gonna get you're gonna see this error and then you will click the restore and update oh you're gonna see that error ipod software update server cannot be contacted same as if you are using windows you're gonna get this error also but what we are doing here is we have to download the official firmware of this ipod touch which is under the description together with the instruction so oh let's begin i'm using a macbook pro so if you're using a windows you have to hold the shift key and then click the restore ipod but i'm using an macbook a macbook pro so uh, or if you're using a macbook pro or a mac you just have to hold this option button here right here and then click the restore ipod i'm gonna click i'm gonna hold this option and then i'm gonna click the restore ipod and then you just have to find the the files on your desktop find the files like this and then i'm i have a this is a first gen so i'm gonna choose ipad one for first gen and then ipad ipad two if you have an ipad second gen so I'm, i have a ipad first gen so i'm gonna choose this one and then click open this is the same method in windows in windows if you are on itunes 11 and then the itunes is open and then you the uh, ipod touch is already in the mode you just have to click ship and then click the restore on itunes and then choose choose the uh, official firmware so we're gonna i i already choose the ipad one firmware so i'm gonna open it okay as you can see the ipad starts to restore all you have to do is wait
oh don't forget to download the files or don't uh, I repeat don't use or downgrade to Windows 7 if you are on Windows 10 because this method will not work on Windows 10 as you can see it starts to restore all you have to do is wait We're happy with it. We're almost there. Verifying iPad software. don't forget the method if you are using Windows PC you have to be in Windows 7 and then install iTunes version 11.0.1 oh it's almost done verifying iPad software Almost done. Anyway, I uh, I create this. I created this uh, tutorial because maybe some of you have this uh, kind of model iPad Touch first gen or second gen. So this is the tutorial on how to restore it. And then some of you are having trouble on restoring iPod Touch first and second gen. So I hope this video will help. Oh, it's done. The iPod, it says your iPod has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPod connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts so it's done all we have to do is to 
wait for it to activate just have to wait for it you just have to leave to leave it or stay connected if you get this iTunes as you can see it's done right and then you, you're gonna see this iTunes but you can also see the battery here see that the battery all you have to do is to wait for a few seconds or few minutes because the iPad is activating just have to wait for it just have to monitor your iPod let's monitor the iPod So you can see the screen is up is turning up because the iPod is already restored so we just have to wait to activate the iPod uh, as you can see guys when your iPod is already turning up the screen it means that the restore is done and if, if you can see this battery here you can see that all you have to do is to wait for it okay let's click ok let's wait for our ipod to activate if your ipod takes too long to activate the another method here is to restart your ipod but we can see it here Look. we can see it here ipod touch just click that iPod touch activating as you can see it, it is activating right oh see that it's already activated okay get started okay it's now done the iPod is already restored okay congratulations I hope this video helps you guys to or uh, this method helps you on how to restore this uh, second generation or first generation iPod touch even though it's 2022 <laughs> if you're having this kind of iPod touch and you're you're having trouble in restoring uh, all the parts you need all the parts you need is under the description so and also don't forget to hit like and subscribe thank you so much bye